Melissa. Happy Tuesday. I hope you are having a great week so far today. I have lots of fun stuff as always to show you. So what I'm going to show you is actually how to cut, print and cut in this case, uh, with two different machines at the same time. So there are lots of different reasons why you might want to do this. One is just production. You want to increase your production. The second is you have multiple projects kind of going on at the same time. Thirdly, you just think it's super cool, right? Okay, or because you can. So um, Business Edition is the gives you the ability to uh, cut, use multiple machines at the same time. So they don't have to be the same machine. As you can see, I'm using a Cameo 4 and a portrait. They can be the same machine. You can, as basically as many connections as you can make, you can, um, that's how many you can do. So there's really no limit. So both of these are actually connected by Bluetooth. But if you have USB ports, you can do those too. So even machines that don't have Bluetooth, um, like a Cameo 3, no, Cameo 3 has Bluetooth, like a Cameo 2, you would be able to, to um, do this with as well. So sometimes, especially if you have more than, like, if you don't have a big space or if you have more than, like, two machines, because I am pretty much maxed out here, um, you will, you know, it's easier to kind of spread out on the floor. I keep doing this because... <clears throat> Typically when I do this, and I don't do it all often except really for tutorials, but I would put my computer in the middle, kind of like a spoken wheel, and have all of the machines kind of set out around it, okay? All right, so the reason I'm showing you this today is because it is one of the features of Business Edition, all right? So you get other features obviously with Business Edition as well, but Business Edition along with Designer and Designer Plus are 40% off right now. Now, you're probably aware that the price of those um, software upgrades increased earlier this year by almost double. So 40% off, it's only going to last for a few more days. So if you're interested, grab um, my code. It's still, it's like S-I-L-S-C-H software. It's up top. And then I threw the link up there. Okay, so you're going to use the, the code and the link to grab that. Um, but I thought I'd feature this one feature um, today so you can see how cool it is. And then I also, up top or to the side or wherever you are, inc included a link to a comparison chart of all of the different software um, options. So if you get Designer, what do you get? If you get Designer Plus, what do you get? And if you get Business, what do you get? Hands down, I would highly recommend, especially right now when there's this sale going on, that you just go directly to business, okay? All right, so let's get started with this. So what I have already done, because as you know, it's almost impossible for me to do software stuff on these live videos. If you're looking for software tutorials and post-edited, post-production type stuff where we edit afterwards, Silhouette You is what you're gonna want. But for right now, I can tell you what I did. I had two different work areas each with a different set of stickers. So this is one set and this is the other set, okay? So they look similar, but they're, they're different, okay? All right, so I had two different work areas in Silhouette Studio and um, one is set up for print and cut with the Cameo 4. So the Cameo 4 is the machine that is selected. The other is set up for the, the portrait, okay? And we are going to be able to print and cut with both of them at the same time. So if you have a sticker business, if you have, you know, this is really going to help you increase your, your time, okay? All right, so someone is asking me, did you know that you were live on So Fancy instead of Silhouette School? I did not know that, but that's super, because you know why? These are also on So Fancy, and I added the link to it, so have at it, people. <laughs> also, if you're on So Fancy watching, uh, you don't have to have Silhouette Studio to use business. I mean, you don't have to have a Silhouette cutting machine to use Business Edition. So if you're if you're a Cricut user, you can get uh, Business Edition and export your do all your design in Silhouette, and then export as a PDF or an SVG or a PNG, and bring it into Cricut Design Space or whatever software you use. Now back to regularly scheduled program. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to my Send panel. And we're gonna start the Cameo 4 first. So I've got this one. I, I printed multiple ones so I could show you kind of what happens when one is done, we can kind of start the other. And this one I'm gonna cut on the mat. So I'm, hopefully you can see, I just have my cutting mat here. Um, and I like to use my brayer, all right? And then I'll just load this one in, okay? Now, as I said, in Silhouette Studio, the down at the bottom where you select the machine, I have the Cameo 4 selected. So I'm just going to click send, send that to cut, and the printing and cutting will begin on that. 
Now, for this other one, I'm actually going to cut, print and cut without a mat because to be honest, I couldn't find my, my portrait mat, okay? And since this is a lined material, that'll work fine. So in Silhouette Studio, I need to go back to the design area and I need to go to the design area that matches this, all right? Then again, I go back to the send panel. This one, we want to set, set the machine as a portrait three, okay? It's all set up. Now I just load this in, whoops. Now I just load this in. It doesn't think I, it thinks I've already loaded it. Load, baby. Okay, now we load it. I thought I already had loaded it. Okay, and now I hit send on this. And this one will begin, okay? So hopefully you can see what's happening. They are both working simultaneously. This one's looking for the registration marks, this one's cutting. Now, specifically with print and cut, you need to make sure that you are working in the correct design area that's set up for um, whatever machine you have set. Now, when this one's done, I'll just unload the cutting mat and load a new uh, paper. So the trick with this and how you can really increase production is to make all your prints first. So I made about six prints. We won't go through all of them. But if you print them all first, then you're not stopping to print and then cut and print and then cut. You can just have your stack all ready to go and you will be able to, um, to do this. Okay, again, you could have multiple machines out and um, able to do this on multiple machines at the same time. Again, you just want to be careful that you're working in the same work area. Now, here's the thing. If you only had, if you, let's say you had 10 of these to print the same sheet, you could print and cut the same or cut, whatever you were doing, print and cut the same on both. I just happen to take the extreme level and make the two different machines, two different designs so that you can see the capability of this, all right? So if you're just joining, welcome. As I mentioned, this being able to cut with two different machines simultaneously is a feature of Business Edition, which is on sale right now for 40% off along with Designer and Designer Plus. So I threw the link up top, the code that you're gonna need to get it, and um, you can grab that. It's only gonna be on sale for a couple more days, so make sure if you are looking to upgrade that you grab it. Big, big question that we get with um, software upgrades is do I have to pay monthly? No, it's a one-time fee that they don't even charge you for the year. It's literally one time. You can put it on multiple computers. You can't use multiple Silhouette accounts, good try, but you can use um, on multiple computers. So if you sign on it in on another computer, the license key is attached to your Silhouette America email account. Okay, so this one's done. So it's gonna come out now. This way, actually. Okay, so now I'll load another sheet on. I'm just gonna do a few here so you can kind of see what's going on and how this can increase your production. Again, I'm gonna switch back to that design area that matches this sheet. Send panel, make sure that it's set for the Cameo 4. And it's gonna take a second to connect. And then I'm gonna press send on that. I'm sorry to have my back to you. Okay, now this one's done. I'll show you that one in a second. All right, this one, now I'm ready. I can do the same thing on here. Okay, if you're wondering, well actually just give me a second here. Um, so send panel again, this time I'm picking the portrait three. It's gonna take a second to sync. Um, and then I will press send. Okay, now I know you're asking, how do you do this in Silhouette Studio? It's, as I've mentioned so many times, it's nearly impossible for me to do these live videos showing you the software. If you're interested in videos that show start to finish everything, bring it into the software, get all the cut settings all set up and finish the project, check out Silhouette U. Okay, so I just, while we're waiting, I just want to show you, this is the one that print and cut without the mat. Perfectly print and cut, okay? So, of course, I set it that way to tell it that I was not printing a, uh, I was not cutting with the mat, okay? This other set over here, same thing. This one I did use a mat. 
Now, these stickers are so nice because the designer who designed these, again, these are from Sofati, she put that bleed, that white bleed area around the edge there so that it, everything was ready. They came in as one sticker set. I, I honestly hate when I buy a set of stickers or get a set of stickers and it's like, oh, you want a set of stickers? Here's 49 stickers all individually. You want it as a set, you pull them all in. It drives me bonkers. Like, okay, I, the reason I bought it is because I don't have time to do that. Help me out here, people. All right, so these are nice because they all could literally just drag and drop in. She also, as I said, put the we, um, cut line around there. Now, if you didn't want that cut line and you wanted it right around the edge of the sticker, you could remove the cut line that she added for you, okay? All right, so let's wait as this finishes up. I'll just stick that right there, okay? And then we will be done. So, again, links are up top for everything that you may need as far as um, features of designer to designer plus to business edition you do not have to go up in steps if you are on the free version of silhouette studio right now and you want to go to business you can just buy the business edition it's 60 dollars right now okay with my code and my link if you are on designer edition and you want to go to business edition you can buy the partial upgrade as well off the top of my head, I forget what the price is. I think it's about $40, but or it might be even third. I forget. But anyway, those are on sale too, the, the bridges or the partial prorated um, upgrades as well, okay? All right, so key points here. You can cut with multiple machines, different models, even a Curio, okay? You can cut different designs on each at the same time or the same. And if you're doing print and cut, my suggestion is to print them all at the same time and then cut them all at the same time, all right? Okay, someone, Michelle is asking, if I have designer edition but I go to business, is it 50? Normally, yes, not right now. It's that bridge is 40% off as well. So they prorate, the normal price is not, you know, buy the full business edition again. If you're going from designer to business, it's typically, I, I don't, on, off the top of my head, I honestly can't remember, $60 or something like that. Right now, whatever it is, it's additional 40% off, okay? All right, they both actually stopped at about the same time, so that's perfect, all right? So again, we have this full set of stickers, um, and we've just done four sheets in what would have taken us probably the same amount of time to do maybe two, two and a half, okay? Because we had a little bit of pause time in between because we had to shuffle them around. But if you've got everything ready, if you've got them all lined up, then this is a really great way to do this. Now, again, if you um, have a Bluetooth machines, you're not even limited by the USB ports that you have. If you don't have Bluetooth machines, you can still do this. Buy one of those Bluetooth uh, ports that has one Bluetooth plug-in, and then it kind of has like multiple other ones that come, come off of it, like a little like octopus type of thing, okay? Someone is asking a question, and I honestly, I can't. Do the machines have to be connected to the computer or can they operate with Bluetooth? You can use Bluetooth, USB, or a combination of both. I am not, I am not, this is my power cord. This is Bluetooth. I love this little portrait, it's so portable. This one also Bluetooth. However, you do, as I said, have the option that you could, whoopsie, I'm getting stickers on me. You do, this would be cute up here. You do have the option to, connect by by USB if you want if you find that as a more reliable you know connection type okay all right you guys I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day if you're interested in any of that stuff I linked it up top um and if you're not that's fine too hopefully you learned a little something for the next time all right all right I'll see you guys soon